you don't go to Bible school, if you never go to Sabbath school, or if you never go to Sunday school or Bible studies. What happened? What happened? What happened in St. Mary? Morning, my sister. What happened in St. Mary? Where the rains came and flooded the place. And now the place smell a plague. The place have one stinking mud. That is plague number one. Kanama. Mm. Mighty God of Daniel. Yes, man, the Holy Spirit accompany me. Two. The demonstration will happen in a Saint Anne. It's not a plague, but it's a warning. Fear, fear. Let the people of Jamaica go. I have good fear. I have bad fear. This is the most evil fear we have had in Jamaica. Evil fear we have had in Jamaica. The most evil one. But I'm going to remind Jamaica about a few things. You see, when Israel was in bondage, Moses said, let my people go. We are the Israelites in Jamaica. We are the Israelites in Jamaica. We, who are being enslaved by Chinese, are the chosen generation. So when people, who all are said, So let me remind you, we are the chosen generation. We are the chosen people. So when you see Clara and Cleopatra, I do them wickedness and harm to Jamaica. I'm going to say this to you. Forward still. All of a sudden, me see this letter post. When I see it on my Insta, I post it on my Instagram. I post it on my Facebook just not too long. Hear what the letter say. From the likes of William name Robert Hill, the town clerk. Wait the man, let me find the letter. The letter basically say, no feeding of the homeless in the streets of Kingston. And if you want to feed them, you have to go through poor relief and poor relief. I'm going to say this to you. The systems that are set up are not designed to help poor people and the homeless. The people at the poor relief, the homeless people, don't eat them food because it don't taste good. And I show you hear them say on the live that this food tastes better. They have to stay in long lines and get disrespected by the poor relief officers. And many times they are disrespected and disregarded. All of a sudden, let her just research. Every time them do it to Auntie Dana me here, I know I hear a letter. It don't reach me. But the letter starts resurface. I will say this to the most honorable Prime Minister. Talk to your town clerk and I would ask you to take some advice as well. I want you to take this foolish advice from me. I'm not stopping to feed the people, you know. I'm going to give them them care packages tomorrow morning. I'm going to give them them care packages tomorrow. So if you're going to get the municipal police to come lock me up, come lock me up. I just want to get locked up. I, I've never known what it felt like 
to be in a jailhouse and put me in the worst jailhouse. Put me in the worst jailhouse because if your program for them beat me, I'm going to take a beating them. I'm mentally prepared. You remember what did happen to me in 2017, Andrew Wellness? 